Hi, everybody. I'm Lisa Askley, the inventor. Welcome to my podcast. Hi, everybody. I'm Lisa Ascalese, the Inventress. Welcome to the Inventress Podcast. I'm here with my incredibly gorgeous daughter, Brittany Ascalese. Hey, everybody. <laughs> you went in loud and you came out soft. I that know. Was <laughs> Brittany Ascalese. That was a sexy voice. No, it's we're, we're, not. You know, we just left Valentine's Day. Yeah, I guess. So I had my sexy on. Yeah, I guess. So, um, anyway, so tonight I want to talk about a few things. First, I have to tell you, we're interviewing the Tara Ackaway, um, my social media strategist and publicist. Um, uh, and we'll get into that. But, but before we do, I just want to talk about things that are happening uh, this year, 2019. You know, I always talk about how we're going to rock it in. We're rocking in 2019 like never before. You know, I, I feel like, don't you feel like this year is going to be a great year? Changes are happening. Good things are happening for 2019. Like things are exploding. Entrepreneurs, I think, especially are exploding. Don't you feel like that? Yeah, there's changes. Like everybody's off the chain. Yes. Yeah, I think everyone's going through a crisis where, okay, I need to step it up. I think that's where everyone is. We are stepping it up. We yeah. are stepping it up. So I want to talk about, in terms of stepping it up, I want to talk about our AOE conference that's coming up um, June 29th, 2019. It's going to be held at the uh, Grand on Route 70 in Lakewood, New Jersey. It's 1600 Route 70. It's going to be from 11 to 5. We're going to have vendors, two-minute elevator pitches, music, dancing, food, entertainment. That's happening this year, uh, June 2019, June 29th, 2019. Everybody's ex incredibly excited. Uh, Phil's going to be performing. His band's going to be there. CSN Songs. Carla Hall's going to be in the house. Oh, my God. Carla Hall's going to be there. We may even do some cooking. We're going to have some ice cream. Cooking? You're we may cooking even do that? some cooking. I don't know about all that. There's a lot of stuff happening this year. And and people who come to our AOE conference know what it's, that is off the chain. They know it's off the chain, right? It's a really good conference. Not your average sit down, take some <laughs> notes, network with people you're never going to meet again. <laughs> It's a really good conference. It is. And I'm not and, just saying that. No, it's really. It's, and it's musically inspired this year. And we are honoring the Dionne Warwick at our conference this year. And I forgot to mention that the last time. We are honoring the Dionne Warwick. Um, if you guys know who you, you got, oh, don't, even, don't even tell me you don't know who she is. But we're honoring her this year um, because she's very special to me. She's an incredible mentor and just an incredible um, musician and um motivation to to so many people not just women musicians uh singers entrepreneurs she's incredible she's a, she has a school in in uh, east orange new jersey dion warwick um really proud to have her um hopefully in the house when we have this conference in june uh, if you want to register go to aowie.com that's aowie.com not if you want to you must register AOWIE.com. It is on our website now. You can register today for June because the house is going to fill up, fill up very, very quickly. And I know it this year. For sure. For sure. Um, so anything else, Brittany? I, I want to make sure that we have everything in before I introduce um, the incredible Tara Ackroyd. All right. But no, anything we're all else? set. We are all good. Just okay. register and let's get it going. Okay. So without further ado, I want to introduce the amazing Tara Ackroyd my publicist, social media strategist. Hello. Hello. Is this um, Tara? I'm reading uh, the prompt. It says Tara Acker, A-K-A, <laughs> no, A-C-K-A-C-K-A-C-K. <laughs> Check. Testing one, two. That is me. Testing one, two. Is this the... <laughs> the the Tara but you're not playing a song or anything so I can't walk on stage what's happening no but you have a video there's a video running right now okay good well yeah, there's gotta be something oh yeah yeah no the video's running 
We've got a green okay. screen up. You're walking across uh, a platform right now with your with your shoes on, your Jimmy Choo. With the shoes, yeah. yeah. You've got your uh-huh. Jimmy Choo yeah. shoes on, and you're walking yep. across the stage. So, yes, yeah. everyone, again, I must introduce the Tara Ackaway from Social Wise Communications Publications um, <laughs> Extraordinaire. If you ask my father, I'm a publisher. <laughs> you're, you are, and, and you're a publisher. You yeah. haven't written a book yet, yeah. but you definitely are. You you are definitely a publisher. It's coming. Yeah. No, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah. In between all of the crazy clients like myself that you have. I know. How, how does one keep up in the world of you, public relations? You don't. You don't. So you fly away with me to a beach. You and I go away for a weekend. We yeah. write a book. Yeah. You write yours. I write mine. Mm-hmm. We write our memoirs. That and, sounds good. Uh, I know, right? So, yeah, sign me up. I, I know, I know, I know. But Tara Ackaway, I can't believe I have you on my podcast. Finally, finally, finally. We've had is how many? This, I, I wait, think this is like this the 20. Thing, are, are we live? Oh, like, we're live. Oh, we're now? going. This is happening. I don't even know this. This is happening I right now. this is a, like a casual conversation. It's very casual. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I record all of my conversations like you know who. Oh no, that's terrible. We're not talking. Po- we're not talking pol- politics tonight. You don't even know what we're I'm not? talking about. No, we're. You know what? what? You don't even know what I'm talking about. Never mind. I don't. Never mind, because we don't talk <laughs> politics ever on anything that we do social oh, media. Oh, did you say politics? I thought you said publicly. No politics. No, I mean politics. Oh, okay. I mean it's been a whole oh, thing going man. on for the last couple of days with. Um, yeah the Don and, and Michael Cohen and all that stuff and recordings and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Don't even get me started. I have to let you know that I'm recording you right now. Yeah. I never signed a a release though. That's all right. You don't want to make that statement publicly. That's okay. Well, everybody's, everybody else is signing it for you. Yeah. Everybody else is signing your release saying, you know, yep. We want to hear Tara. We want to hear what she's got to say about the inventress. Absolutely. Because yeah. we know that Tara is the behind the scenes camera person and strategist behind what the Inventress does. That's right. So welcome Tara Ackaway to our Inventress podcast. Thank and, you. Uh, Thank you for having me. Is Brittany here? Is you, Brittany on the you, line? you know what's crazy? So Brittany has she's not here yet, but she's she should be here any minute because she had some things to do. Okay. So All she, right. I think John she here? literally, John is in the house. Hey, Tara. Okay. This could All not right. happen without John. Are you kidding me? You think I'm John, doing this? Wait, hi. do you seriously think I'm doing this by myself, Tara? How would this work? You're not Listen, here. John's not here. Know. Brittany's you're not here. The okay. Well, I could make, the I could snap my fingers. Absolutely. But if I snap my fingers, John would definitely have to be here to make this happen. <laughs> I could not make the sound happen. So, yes. Yeah, so John is in the house. Brittany is pulling up momentarily. She's coming okay. into the studio. and um, But excited to have you, Tara. Thanks. I'm excited to be here. Can't believe it. So you went to go see Wicked. You went to, you were out partying with your man. I did. I did. It was quite a date. It was quite an evening. It was, it was. I want to say it's a surprise. It wasn't a surprise like he woke up and was like, hey, we're going to do this tonight. Mm -hmm. It was more like it was part of a Christmas present. But you know how you get a Christmas present and then, so you know, it's something for the future, right? Because a couple months pass. So you forget about it. And then it just out of nowhere because time goes so quickly. It's just like, oh, we're doing that tomorrow. So it felt like a really awesome surprise. And that's what we did. We saw it yesterday. It was fabulous i'm obsessed oh, i can't I, get the songs yes. out of my head yes um, we saw it we, we had a it. really good time oh and you spent time and you didn't have your yes. phone you put your phones down i put my phone away yeah you I put, put my your... phone away oh yeah mm-hmm. and how did that feel yeah. were you okay oh well you know it's so funny because mike oh i love him and oh, he's always like i know oh, ta- I can't, I can't, that but... is so <laughs> sweet I know, but he, he like sees how hard that I work and it's like at all hours of the day because it comes with the nature of the job. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you know what? Just put your phone away. 
take a minute for yourself. Mm -hmm. It's going to be all good. Mm -hmm. You deserve it. Mm -hmm. And he says it in such a gentle and loving way. And and I go, you know what? This this is what we're going to do. Because I'm not that kind of, you know, millennial that's so attached to my phone Mm -hmm. that I feel like, oh, I just got to text all my friends. It's not that. It's it's, it's my job. Yes. So that's why I'm attached to my phone. Um, I know. But you know what? Sometimes no matter what your job is, you know this. You just got to step away for a minute and spend time with your family and your loved ones and just kind of disconnect and live in the moment. I didn't even go crazy taking pictures. I mean, I took a couple here and there, but, you know, for a living, I take pictures. I was so excited when you sent me a picture. I was beyond excited when you sent me a picture of you and Mike. It was so exciting. I was so happy (laughs) because I know how hard you work. I do. I know how hard you work. And I I love that so much about you. Like, not just the fact that you are. You're a good person. You're good. You're and you do. You you take no, but you also what I love most about you, Tara, is that you do take time with your family like you know i love that you you pick up the phone and you and your mom are talking and your your dad you talk about your dad and how he does the bagels yeah i mean all that means so much family is so important family is first family is first so as much as you do as much as you do your family is always a part of um your whole life your life program yeah you know and i Mm -hmm. and i love it and your mom i mean she's she's an amazing person I met, I've met your mom and she's wonderful and wonderful mom makes a wonderful daughter our children yeah I always say there's something wrong when you know you have friends or acquaintances or co-workers or you have people that just they don't speak highly of their parents yeah. and you just I don't know it rubs me the lo- wrong way I mean I know everybody has their own situations that they deal with but family I've always just been raised it's just such an important part of who you are mm-hmm. And, and everybody's uh, not as fortunate, you know, I mean, everybody's right, not as fortunate right. to have that. They, they, right. they're they not. And and so when you do have that, it's such a, an incredible blessing to have your family. So you have a, an uh, incredibly successful business. I'm one of your clients and so yes. proud to be. You're amazing. Yes. You're crazy as heck. And so am I. Well, we, you know what? You have fun. That's what it is. You have to have fun in what you're doing, you know? I work crazy hours, but I have so much fun. That's why I'm working so late because you me, you, you, and I say the same thing all the time. You don't even realize you're working sometimes. Mm-mm. You just keep going and going and going. You're excited about a project. You want to finish it through all the way. Um, that's the name of the game. You have to have fun. You have to be passionate about what it is that you're doing. Oh, 100%. And we do. We laugh and we, we cry and we do, you know, do all the things. And it's, it's really important to do that. It is a heartfelt business, I think, that you're operating. And I want you to the, give your all of your social media. <laughs> give, I'm telling you, Tara, <laughs> tell everyone. Give everyone. I feel like I feel like I should be telling you that, and you're telling <laughs> well, me you're gonna that. Well, you're the one who promoting it, so. <laughs> I know. I like and well, I first like and share it, but <laughs> first, ahead. everybody, make sure that you're following the inventress. That's at. I the love you, Tara. <laughs> you're, um, <laughs> you're so crazy. What my per my personal social? media? No, handle? just like you, so so people can like know who you are. So everybody out there, so Tara does all of my social media. She's my publicist. She's amazing. She's absolutely so on point with everything that she does. And you are, Tara. I mean, I'm speaking to them. I'm speaking to you. And, you know, I tell you this sometimes, too. I get mushy and you want to throw me off of your butt. Um, (laughs) But you're amazing. I mean, and you know that. I tell you that all the time, too, how incredible you are. And, um, guys, if you're not on social media and you need it, you really need to reach out to Tara. And she'll put you on track, on target. And it's... Be, she, she absolutely loves what she does. So she'll, she'll get you situated with what you need to do. So Tara, yeah, you yeah. need to give I'll your social, your butt. what are your social media handles there, Tara? How do they contact you? Sure. Sure. Well, um, my business social media is at social wise PR. And my personal is at Tara Ackaway, T-A-R-A-A-C-K-A-W-A-Y. You can find me on either one of those. But they're not taking you out on a date. So they don't know you need to know. Because Mike took you out to see Wicked last night. So don't get crazy. You yeah, don't need to be sharing I, I, your personal. I'm actively, I'm actively <laughs> promoting that I have a boyfriend. <laughs> 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 Just don't work clear. <laughs> 
Just so we're clear. Oh my I'm gosh. also a comedian on you, the side. You definitely if are. Anybody was wondering. You definitely are. <laughs> lots of fun. Lots of fun. So I was telling, yeah. you know, um, I, I interviewed uh, Kevin before, and uh, Kevin was amazing. Oh, I love Kevin. Yes, he's amazing. He's amazing. Um, but anyway, so we're going to talk about, oh, Brittany just came in. Brittany oh, hello, Ascal- hello. Okay, so Brittany Ascalise, my daughter Hi, everyone. Ascalise I'm just here. walked in. And yes, now the just in time, started. just in time for you, Tara, because I'm sure she's got some questions for you. I'm raising the roof she's right now. Me she's raising questions. the roof. All right. Let's get this party Sarah, started. Tara, so what do you have to ask Tara? Like, so Tara, I didn't ask Tara anything because I already know everything about her. Oh, and you well, do too. Nice. So I said nothing. I asked her nothing. Well, what, my main thing is, Tara, how did Social Wise get started? Like, what inspired you to do what you're doing for, for this company wow. that's now blossoming? Thank you. Yeah. Everyone always asks me this question because they look at what it is that I do and what I've grown and they think this was, this had to be like a master plan or something. Um, I always start with my age. I'm 25 and I'm proud of that because I feel like I really have accomplished so much for my age. And I say that because age is just a number. It doesn't Mm, matter if you're older, if you're younger, it should not be a determining factor of your success. Do you want to launch something new? Do you want to backtrack? Whatever you need to do. So I started the company right out of college. Um, the story is super long and we don't have time for it, but the basis of it is I had a um, background in reality television. I was oh, wow. working with a network and uh, <laughs> wait, did you not know this? No, oh, I bre- no this, the funny thing is <laughs> I barely knew who you were when you started. She, right, right, like, yeah, right, okay. Tara, you, you're just around Tara. Tara no, but I didn't know the whole situation. I, 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 rem- I remember you did reality. Was it Housewives or something? Yes, yes, it was. It was. No, when you just said that, I was teasing you because I didn't know if she was being serious. And she you was ne- like, you <laughs> never know. You know what, Tara? You never know with Brittany, right? No, but I know. <laughs> Because I use the same voice. Like, no, yeah, way. she's like, monotone. Me? I know. Is, is she mocking me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think because you don't because you don't, you don't see my face. I think that's she why. would tell you. No, no come wouldn't. on, just picture Brittany the way she is all the time, and how she talks to you when you're here, when yeah. you're in the studio. Yeah. So she's not mocking yeah. you. She's 100 percent Brittany all the time. That's a t-shirt, Brittany. 100 yeah. percent Brittany. I love it. I love it. So anyway, yeah, so I um, I had wonderful experiences that started off as internships, then they turned into actual jobs. I was working, for anyone that knows, um, the Real Housewives franchise, Bravo Television. Never heard of it. Working with, yeah, right. <laughs> working with one of the OG Housewives, oh and at the God. time she was engaged, or just about engaged, I don't think it was publicly announced, but um, to this guy who owned another very successful business. And I started working with him doing PR tactics. And um, he owned stock in a social media company, and it led to a third opportunity. And I was doing all these things while I was still in college, my senior year at Monmouth University. And um, I was balancing three jobs. So I would get on like the five o'clock bus, go into the city. I had an hour and a half commute, hour and 20 minutes get there, do my first job, do my second job, and then do the nightlife stuff that was the fun, fancy stuff. Mm -hmm. Thrown into this entertainment world that was a whirlwind, um, doing, like, red carpet events, doing... They were filming the new season of the show. I was behind the scenes. I was in some of the scenes. Hold on one second. I'm so sorry. My AirPods are dying. Oh, I thought you were getting another call. I was going to say, wait a second. (laughs) No, Do you not know who you're on... This podcast with, right? This right. is the inventor. <laughs> <laughs> this is the invent. You um, don't put me on hold. I put you, you on hold. <laughs> can you imagine? Uh, yeah, hold I'm, on, get- guys, I'm, I'm getting a call, so. I'm getting a call. No, no, no. My AirPods were dying. <laughs> um, sorry about that. So anyway, yeah, I'm balancing all these things, and um, I'm going into my final final semester because this was all through the summer and then leading into the last semester. And um, while I was doing all these different experiences, you got to remember that I'm surrounded by all these people in entertainment, Mm. all these executives, all these really powerful businessmen and women. And one thing I always did, and I'm 
big advocate for this today is networking. So I had a Indeed. business card made up that said I was a publicist and I was a social media strategist. And you were like five. You were like five Even years old. Even though I old. hadn't graduated. You right, were a baby. Right. I was 21? Tw- no, no. You know what? That's a lie. I was 19. It is a lie. It is a lie. No, exactly how old I was you were. 19. Right. I was 19 because I'll remember this because all the parties I went to, I wasn't of legal drinking age. And nobody questioned me oh because gosh. I acted so mature and I was brought into these parties with these high end people. And so everybody just thought I belonged. But for anyone listening, I actually don't drink alcohol, so I didn't care. Right. And most people would be like, yay, but I don't, I actually hate alcohol, so. No, and, and you're really, thank God, you're such a wonderful driver. Yeah, and there's no kind of weird story behind that. Either. No, there's I nothing. Any, yeah, I, Issues, just, I just don't drink You it. just don't. Yeah. So, um, yeah, all that was happening. So I would give out my business card. And as I'm approaching graduation, it slaps you in the face. And anyone that's in college or graduated recently, or they know the feeling. Like, you're about to graduate, and then all of a sudden, all of this expectation just hits you. And it's like, okay, where are you going to work? What's going to be your job? You're expected to have something right away. Everybody assumes you're going to go corporate America, yada, yada, yada. So I'm thinking all these things. All these things are running through my head. And I start applying to all these top PR firms. Um, in New York, in New Jersey, marketing agencies, et cetera. And I went on a ton of interviews and actually secured a lot of jobs. I secured about three of them. I think it was three, yeah. And um, they were decent offers. They were entry level, so it wasn't anything crazy. Um, And I was considering them. But the thing about the PR industry is that although PR and social media are connected when you're working in corporate, it's it's either PR or social media, Mm -hmm. and you have to choose. And the other thing about corporate is... But that's when you're you working for, for a to, company, when you're working you're, for, yes, when you're contracted yes, when in. you're working for a company, mm-hmm. yes. And they're very specific in like what your niche would be. So for example, one of the jobs I was offered, I would only be able to work in the automotive department doing PR. Um, I'm entry level. They don't really care about my creativity in terms of anything else, any other campaigns. It would just be automotive. So I was still considering these things because realistically, these are the paths we take. You, right. you go to school and then you take you, whatever you can get. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, people aren't picky. They just want to get their experience. I kid you not, at the same time as I'm being offered these jobs and going on interviews, I get a call, first call, from somebody that I met at one of these networking opportunities in the city asking me to do freelance work. Mm-hmm. A couple days later, get an email from another company asking me to do social media freelance work. Mm. And all these opportunities start adding up to freelance work. And I didn't even know what freelance work was. And this is because you were handing out your business cards. Handing out my business cards. At these networking events. this is what I do. Right. This is who I am. Yada, yada, yada. And the funny thing is, all of these companies, all of these people, they all assumed, obviously they didn't know my age. Obviously they didn't know I was in college. And they assumed I had a business. Right. I'm, I'm looking back on that now and realizing it. I didn't realize it then. They just assumed that this is what I did. Mm-hmm. So I start getting all these freelance requests. And they don't teach you in college. Of course not. You know, what freelance is. It's it's not, you know, it was all self-taught. Like you figure out, all right. No, when you I when you go to charge? college, you're being prepared to, to work for a corporation. Right. When you're hired right. in by a corporation, you're not taught to yeah. be an entrepreneur uh, for, Absolutely. The, for the most part. You're really not. Yeah. But you had and the wherewithal. The yeah, but you had the wherewithal. I mean, your dad is also an entrepreneur. And um, ever since I was little. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, yeah. So you yeah. get you get it like you get it from somewhere you have. And, and I, the genetics plays a giant part. I'm sure your grandparents were sure. in, you know, in some respect. Um, oh, absolutely. They, they own grocery stores and carpet companies. Of course, and of course. And U-Haul. It's yeah. in there. So all of you listeners out there, I mean, it, it definitely comes from somewhere. 23 and Me is giant. So if it's, if oh, it's not, yeah. right, if it's not instilled in you emotionally, take a look and you'll probably say, you know what? Okay, that's why I kind of feel this way. And I haven't had the, um, um, I guess, the not the will or the, what do you call it when you when you don't have the, what's the word I'm looking for, wherewithal? Betty? Not wherewithal, the other word. 
Um, you, 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 you put fear aside. You, you got to put fear aside and just go out and be an entrepreneur yeah. like you have done. Yeah. You put all well, fears, but I, I don't think that you it's were ever, you it's a risk you have to be willing to take. Exactly. Yeah. But you put all yeah. fear aside and you just go out, you step out, you step out on that red carpet and you just do it. You take the leap yeah. and you just do it like you did. And you have the support yeah. of your parents and the people behind you. Uh, and you just, you just did it. But I don't think anybody would have stopped you anyway, Tara. I don't think that you, no, <laughs> no, nobody would have stopped you because you're unstoppable. No one in my family. And, and no, one, no one did stop me. No one could and no, stop And me, no one could stop you I got you a lot of backlash. To. Ironically, I got a lot of backlash from, like, um, professors, past professors. Um, really? You when know, you were starting your friends. when you were starting your own business, you got backlash. Yeah, yeah, because They said you should start with somebody else. Work right, with the company. Who the heck are you to do that? Isn't that but something? But what people didn't understand was that although... You know, I I had I had real experience. You know, I was someone who I never really went into the city with my parents. Like, you know, once in a while, it wasn't something we did often. And out of nowhere, I did a lot of growing up in that period. I had to get on a bus, Absolutely. travel an hour and a half, get in a taxi, figure my way out around the city. I was doing three different jobs, trying to somewhere in between all that. Were you uh, scared? Let me ask you something. I'm going to interrupt you. Were you afraid? Yeah. Terrified. Were you terrified? Terrified. But you p- yeah. pill, pulled your, pill, pulled. how do you say it? You picked yourself up by your collar. You pulled yeah. yourself up by your collar and you said, I'm going to do this. I have to take a leap. I have to put myself yeah. out there because I believe in what I'm going to do. I believe in myself. I didn't even know what I was going to do, but I knew that I had to do it. Mm-hmm. And I knew I was so scared. And mm-hmm. I remember saying to my mom, I don't know, you know, you, you hear all these crazy things on the news, I'm going to get lost, all these little things, I look back and it's funny, I laugh mm-hmm. about it, and my mom said, no, you're going to get on that bus, I love it. and you're going to go. And I love just, that. She like love pushed it. me off. You know I what's funny? And I said, mom, I, I don't know where I'm going, I, yeah. I don't know yeah. the Upper West Side, I don't know just anything, go. and she goes, you're going to figure it out. Just go. And she just pushed me. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. That you know mm-hmm. what, Tara, my mom is the complete opposite. <laughs> 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 do you want me to go with you? I'll just go with you. <laughs> Let me just do the interview. Yeah, I'll just do it. I'll just do it. <laughs> That's how she is. She's like, I'll just go with you. I'll meet you there. <laughs> like, <laughs> she, never, ever, ever. Don't tell that. Between her and my dad. Don't tell people don't that Brittany. tell don't them that she's wow. very they, that's my, they all know they all know i do even, that with you tara i do that with you too even like no like, she does i do she with does. Tara too. my first Lisa's internship like, i don't tara, know if you should eat that you're gonna get a tummy i tell yeah, tara no you're not going by time. yourself i'm going with you no Tara's if it's been, not mom it's my dad who is an entrepreneur who has his own business my first um day of my internship at news 12 new jersey i was 19 and my dad's like, I'll drive you. I'll stay, I'll stay there the entire time. I'm like, what's wrong with everybody? <laughs> what's wrong with my parents? Why can't I do stuff on my own? <laughs> nope. No. And I have to, so, so three kids, well, four, like including Tara, because I do the same thing with you, Tara. And all, all yeah. four of you are very successful at what you do. And somehow, whatever your, our, your parents, us, do to help yeah. you, we give you wings. And, and obviously, your mom That's wanted to make it. Is. I felt like I had wings. Yeah, and you did have wings. Choice, though. She did not give me a choice. Mm-hmm. It was ride or die. It was. I love it. You get on that bus. I and you're love going, it. That's their and grandmother. You're figuring it out. That's and the grandma way she Terry. Said it, love it. Was almost like I don't have a choice. Like I'm going to do this. So so That's it's good. what I did. So I think I mean my parents. Just to go back to how social lives develop, my parents. Specifically, my mom always said to me growing up, she said, you're going to grow up and you're going to do whatever you want to do. That seems right. Like, Mm -hmm. that's what most parents Mm -hmm. say, you know. Mm -hmm. But she always said, if you want a job that doesn't exist, create it. Create your opportunities. Love it. I never understood what that meant. I never understood what that meant until I was faced with the decision to actually utilize what she was saying. And so when I started receiving all those freelance requests at the same time as I was receiving job offers, and I started comparing and contrasting the two and realizing that if this freelance work kept up, I would be superseding anything I was being offered. And I'd be, more importantly, more happy 
because I would be controlling what it is that I would be doing. No glass and ceiling. And that's when I had to make that decision and create my own opportunity and create a job that didn't exist, which ended up being socialized. Came full circle because she was telling me that since I was a little girl. Never wow. understood it until that moment. Wow. So that's what I did. So I turned down. I turned down really decent starting salaries at places that were really reputable and known for this. And I turned it all down and I said, I'm going to do this on my own. And my parents were like, that's amazing. Whatever you want to do, we'll support you. Your that's mom is going to be, did. your mom is going to be a keynote speaker at AOE. <laughs> <laughs> and that freelance work ended up turning into full time work because it started out just like anything you do. If people are happy with your work and you give it all that you got and you start to see real results and you're making and you're having fun and you're having momentum. You know, I had two, I started out with like two or three freelance clients. Then they became monthly. Then they became even more long term. Maybe they were three months and they were six months. Mm-hmm. And then I started, it started to become like, three and then six and then seven. And then it really started adding up to Mm -hmm. the point where it was becoming full-time work. And I was working on all these really cool projects, combining my time between public relations, branding and social media. And then it came to a point where I, it never clicked in the beginning that this was a business. It always just clicked that this was freelance until one day when my accountant said, this, this isn't legal. And I was like, what? (laughs) This is a true story. And she goes, you've got to file an LLC. Mm -hmm. Look what you're creating here. You need, you need to send me, I'll never forget this. And this goes to your, to your, um, what Brittany was asking me about, like, you know, social wise, how did that all close out? She goes, you need to send me a business name. And she gave me like three days to figure it out. And, and I was like, I'm a planner. I was like three days. To, to, to make a company name that's going to be forever, you know, because it's my legacy and everything. And I'm thinking, 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 and social wise came to me because it really has two meanings social wise with the emphasis on social media, right. but also social as interaction, social networking, social gathering. And that's where the PR comes in. And so that's how we became social wise communications. And for a while, it was just me. And, and I loved it, and it was great. And then what ended up happening was I got into a space where I was turning down work and I felt like a fool because you can only do so much yourself. Mm -hmm. So then before I hired employees, because you got to take things one step at a time, Mm -hmm. you never want to move too quickly in your business. I started hiring on freelance workers for different projects. And that's how I started. So I figured, why the heck? Why not? Mm -hmm. And that's what I did. But then that wasn't good enough. I needed something more, something more consistent. So, um... Last year, which is only a couple months ago, really, I opened my first office space, which was the first big step. Congratulations! Woohoo! I know. And it's gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. And I hired on my first um, part time employee, doing everything legal, everything by the book, all those taxes, everything. And then that wasn't enough. So then I hired my second part time employee. Same thing. And uh, you don't know this yet, but I guess I'll announce it now. Is this a surprise? (laughs) This is a surprise. Am I going to drop Um, my fork? I feel like, yeah, I feel like I should say it on the show. Yes, you should. I am actually, as of March, expanding the office. So taking over another suite because we need more space now. No way. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank Do we have sound you. effects like champagne bottles well, opening? I, we'll know, add I, that really, in. I feel like there should be fireworks. We, we need, something. okay, we'll, I want to like blow somebody's eye out in here. We do have fireworks <laughs> and champagne. Oh, man. Tara, yeah, that's it's, all. It's, I'm it's so crazy. proud of you. You're, Thank you're you taking so much. another space. So your space is so incredibly adorable. Oh, thank you. And you're you. taking thank on you. another space in this beautiful building. So Tara, hats off like, to everybody who's listening. So it can be done. See, but listen to your voice, though. Listen to you. 
You have so much energy. You have so much passion for what you're doing. I'm just happy. You, you're yeah, you're, you're happy. Ha- Tara, you're happy about what you're doing. And you found a space that makes you happy. And thank God you have a mom and a dad who inspires you and encourages you, encourages you and motivates you to do the things that you're doing and gives you permission to just yeah. go out and, and be who you, and, and support. Absolutely. And um, just really proud of you in every single way and so happy that you're here on the show and just happy that you're part of AOE. And um, yeah. who's looking at me? I'm not looking at okay, you. Okay, you're not. What are you looking aside from me? Yeah, I'm, look, like I'm looking at the, what are you looking at the curtains. <laughs> no, I thought just curtains. But she's looking at the I'm curtains. I'm just, I'm just looking straight. Okay, I thought she was looking at me. Well, I thought she, had, I thought she had a question. Well, no, I was waiting for you to pause. To fin- yeah. Okay, but, I'm pausing. But talking to you, there are no pauses. I'm pausing. I'm pausing. Go ahead, Brittany. What do you have to ask? <laughs> I'm pausing. Go ahead. I just want to ask, you know, Tara. Um, how old are you now? I have no clue how old you are. You're what still was that? How old are you right now? Oh, 25. Okay, 25. So if you were to speak to people ranging that are just graduating college and yeah. for some reason, what is this new, ge- what is this new generation called? Gen X, X. Gen Y, was Gen, it? X. Gen Z, Gen Z, it? Gen Z whatever XYZ. Gen yeah. it is. Um, <laughs> they're just graduating, whatever. And they they want to be on the street or they, or they want to branch off. What advice can you tell the up and comers that want to do their own business? Because even some millennials now, they, they I think they strive to do freelance now because what I've been researching is they don't want to be tied down to a company. And if they do, they want to be at True. the top in two seconds. True. True, they true, want true. to be yeah. the top in two seconds. True. What can it's you true. ask? Everything what can you tell them? True. What can you tell them if you yeah. want to, you need to work? Like, what is your advice to the newer upcoming people? I mean, the biggest reason I am where I am is because I hustled and hustled and continue to hustle. I mean, when I say I was balancing three jobs and commuting back and forth an hour and a half almost every single day, do you know how much I sacrificed? Like, you're, it's not going to be the smoothest ride. You have to hustle your behind off if you really do see the vision and you have to believe in yourself. Yes. Um, nothing is ever just going to be handed to you. Mm-hmm. We get hit in the face with opportunities every single day. And if you're not open to them and open to receiving them and you're just blind to them, you're not going to move forward mm-hmm. with what any opportunity that presents itself to you. <clears throat> that's the biggest thing. And it's so true, Tara. Excuse me, I'm coughing. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> You're coughing the truth. Yeah, exactly. Coughing up the truth. Yeah. And, and it's so yeah. true, Tara. And I lo- especially when you're young, you people out there who are listening. Work you have hard. to experiment. Work your- yeah, but you know what? You have the opportunity, especially when you have no children. You're not married. I got to say that. You have no kids. Yeah. You're not married. Nothing's tying you down. Work as hard as you can. Hustle your yeah. behind off. You know, do what you can while you are, while you're young, while you have nothing else. Let me tell you something. When when I was young also, I worked 24-7. And I, I pretty much do the same thing now. But I love what I do. Yeah. And you got to have yeah. a passion. But you know what? Get some energy. Yes. Stand up. Shake yourself off. Do some exercise. Slap yourself in the face. Get your behind up and work. And you know what's crazy? Go. Young go people and go and don't want to do work because when i worked for the radio station they're like oh oh i don't have enough hours can i work but at the same time oh i can i switch with you yeah because you know why mm-hmm. i will tell you why because they all they want to do is go out once they're of the legal age yes. they, all they do is want to go out like go out, it's drink, still party. going to be there mm-hmm. the bars are still going to be there they have the fomo fear of missing out that's the biggest thing for them. Oh my gosh! No, I need to be there. I need to go to AC. I got to take Instagram pics. But you got to decide, kind of decide what you want. You got to decide what you want. Yeah, in you your need life, a guide. Right? Everyone you, needs you a guide. You have to think about the future. You got to yes. decide. You have to think about the future. You choose. Now. You choose. Choose yeah. the way you want to live. Your parents are not always going to take care of you. You decide. And they can't. And they. Won't. And you know what? And and what would you want them to? And would you want them to? Honestly, no, would you, you want your parents you taking care of you? When you're right. 30 years old. I don't right. think so. Even my parents now, I mean, and you're the same way because I know you with your kids. Mm-hmm. You guys love us so much. Mm-hmm. You just, 
You're like, let's go to the mall. Let me buy you this. I won't even let my parents buy me anything. I'm like, no, let me buy this for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, you know, Mm -hmm. and they still like we laugh about it. It's a joke, but it's just, you know, it's growing up. Yeah. And it's just you're proud to do it. You're excited to do it. And you can. Another thing I'll say Mm -hmm. is, yeah, yeah, is mentorship and asking questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you, we, you know, don't be afraid. People get embarrassed. People are afraid to reach out. People think, oh, that person's too big for me. Mm. No one's too big for you. No, not you one. You can reach out to anyone. Absolutely. You know, that was another thing. I always asked questions and I always networked and I always connected with people. And I still do that today because you can always learn from other industry professionals. I'm 25 years old, but I'm not naive. Mm-hmm. I'm going to soak up as much education and knowledge as I can from people that are doing this. That's right. That's right. Stand on the shoulders of people who have yeah. done it before and who are smarter and brighter and been there. And Tara, yeah, someone's he, always going to be smarter than you. Absolutely. Yes. And I still, I mean, I'm um, <laughs> years old and I still, you know, I have mentors, I have people I look up to, I have people I listen to every single day and I try to suck it all in and ask them, what'd you say? What'd you say? Over and over again. Because it's, yeah. it's, it's never too old to learn and you're never too young to learn and just... Never too smart, you know, never never too smart to learn. Yeah, absolutely. And Tara, I commend you with, you know, when you first started talking about how you took that leap to go to New York or, you know, you you had a choice. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people, any age, no matter what part they're in in their lives, is if I do this, I hope I don't fail. Fear of failure is huge. And it's like, yeah. am I going to be really, am I really going to be happy doing this? Like, that's another huge thing. People want to be happy in what they're doing, which I completely understand. But there's a certain part where it's like, okay, I have to hustle. I will do whatever job, whatever it takes to do this. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just, there's those are two big things. Fear, failure. Mm-hmm. And another one is, I don't want to do that. I don't like it. Because but you don't it caught, think you're going to be happy. It, yes. It's laziness. Happiness too. doesn't so, count so when you're people, young. So many people they don't want to admit it. They don't want to admit that right. they're lazy. Happiness but they doesn't really count are. when you're when you're young. When you hit a certain yeah. age, I think <clears throat> happiness has a factor. When you hit a certain yeah. when, age. when you're older, when you're older, and I know we got to wrap it up soon, but um, I have to say this, Tara. So, so you are the impi- the epitome of what a young entrepreneur should be about. I mean, you 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 set. You don't even know what happiness is. Everything when you're young, everything makes you happy. You smile at everything when you're young. Okay, you overcome yeah. obstacles. You just go, go and you don't actually. You just walk through whatever the things are. Walk through it. That's it. You're not going to yeah. be home at eight tonight. You're not going to be home at nine tonight. Guess what? You're only twenty three, twenty four, twenty five once, and you can make as much money um, as as y- you need when you're at that age, especially when you're still at home, when you're younger and you're still and you at home. You live at home, absolutely. Make run as fast as you can, put it That's all right. out there before you have to start spending your own money and and paying for a mortgage and all that stuff. Run as fast as you can. Work twenty four hours a day. Work twenty four hours a day. Tara Ackaway, thank you so much for being on our show. Please let us know how we can reach out to you. Tell everyone. Wow, that your... was that was so professional. This little wrap up, I, I love it. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I that can't be professional at times. At times, I can be professional, Tara. That so, was very good. This is well... a wrap up. Proud of you. <laughs> Just give us your. Let us know how we can let everyone out there know because I know this is going to be an exciting uh, show for them. All of the listeners out there, how can they get in touch with you, Tara? Please give all of your you social with these media. Last words. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, no, I'm just kidding. I was going to just say your comfort zone will kill you. And that's really, how I, I love it. I love life. it. And it so, will kill, and it will kill you. That's my 2019 mantra. I love how it. you can get in touch with me. I'm going to make a t-shirt. Can, I'm going to, I'm going to trademark you, that tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> As my own. Will kill you. Yeah. No royalties for me. Nothing. Not a dime. Just my okay. kisses and love. <laughs> I'll hug nice. you every I time. I hope the gear hearts are I'll hug you I'm every time you. I wear a shirt and someone buys it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, your comfort zone NDA. will kill you. you. Yes, you can. Um, you can visit my website, and that is socialwisepr.com. Um, you can connect with me on social media at Tara Ackaway or at socialwisepr. Um, you can email me socialwisepr at gmail.com. And I think it just about uh, 
wraps it up. Thank you so much, Tara Ackerley. Oh, wait, I should say oh. I should say one more thing. Okay, go ahead. Because anyone who's listening that has a brand or a product, an invention, you name it, because I know that's your target audience. If you're not on social media, you need to get on there ASAP. And this is not a promotional ad for me. I don't care how you get there. You just need to get there. I know it can be overwhelming at times, but you just have to start baby steps. It's 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 free right now. Mm-hmm. So if you're not utilizing it, it's it's such a waste because it's so beneficial. So I just you're have so to right, that. Tara. And back in the day when I was growing up, back in the horse and buggy days, there was no social media. There wasn't even yellow pages. And uh, and then when there was back had, in your day, and there then was no there, yellow and then, pages. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What and, did she and, say? And then you had to, and then you had to pay for it when it was. She so, sounded like she's in, like in white, I know, I know. But no, I'm just saying, like every you had to pay for everything up until about seven years ago. So back now, in the twenties. Yeah, back in the uh, zeros. The roaring 20s. So no, so now um so now it is. You're absolutely right. So everything is free on social media and you're right, Tara. Get out there and, and do your social media. It's how yourself. you you're going to promote yourself, brand yourself, reach mm-hmm. new clients, reach yep. new customers, you know, whatever. Absolutely. Just take advantage of it. Tara, this has been spectacular, my dear. Thank you so much this for This was fun, guys. It is Thank fun. You. Well, don't we always have fun? We always have fun. It's always yeah. a good time. We always have good. a blast. We always have a blast. And you're yeah. amazing. Brittany you're... is always very funny. <laughs> Brittany's fun I'm and funny. I'm a bag of laughs. I'm something I'm not going to forget that. When I'm, I started the story, she goes, wow. <laughs> I was being genuine when I said, wow. No, she was, I she was serious. <laughs> she was serious. <laughs> you just never know with Brittany, but she's, yeah. No, she's good. I well, like her. Well, I'll Tara, keep her. Yeah, she's a keeper. She's a keeper. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Tara. You are such a blast. You keep thank me cracking you. up. Thank you. This was great. This was fun. Always. Anytime. All right, sweetheart. You have a fantastic evening. And until next time, peace. You too. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Everybody, that was an amazing interview with Tara Ackaway. Just She's outstanding. She's an incredible social media strategist, publicist. And um, she mentioned how to get in touch with her. Um, and please just just go to my website also. Any information is there 100%. And I uh, just want to also reiterate the conference and the two-minute elevator pitch. It's on our website. People are texting me as we speak and asking how they can sign up for our two-minute elevator pitch. So if you go to our website, aowie.com, that's aowie.com, just go under elevator pitch. Just click on elevator pitch. It's one of the drop-downs. You can literally register to um, uh, do your pitch. Um, But there's a certain criteria. Number one, you have to actually make sure that your product is protected Make sure your product protected because you are doing your presentation in front of hundreds of people uh, who may be recording you and you don't want to give away your intellectual properties um, without being, or you never want to give them away, but you want to be protected. Okay. So again, two minute elevator pitch. If you want to become a vendor, same thing, you sign up as a vendor and uh, fill out your forms and I will make sure that those, everybody will be answered. Uh, always. That's the uh, most important thing for us uh, in our business. We always answer emails and phone calls. So reach out to us and you will get a response. Absolutely. So definitely uh, do that because there is limited space for a two minute elevator pitch. Only five people. It's a big deal. Like my mom said, make sure you're patented. Make sure you have a physical product. We don't want you to talk about something that's not there. Um, so just get on that. Also, I want to mention you can find my mom on all social media platforms. Facebook is Lisa Askelis, YouTube, Lisa Askelis, Twitter at Lisa Askelis, um, Instagram, I believe it's the inventress, um, it's the underscore, I think underscore, what right? Pers- the underscore inventress. I don't know anything about yeah, no there's underscore. There's some underscore somewhere. There's an underscore somewhere. All right. I think that's interesting. Either way, you can just type it in. <laughs> Either way. Anyway, please uh, listen to us often because we love hearing any kind of feedback. That means please review us. Tell us how amazing we are. Tell us how nasal I am because I'm used to it. Uh, you know, listen you to us. You good. You're thanks. clear tonight. 
Oh, you're tonight kinda, I'm clear. You're a little clear. Do I sound clear? We're both we're both nasal all the time. We're not. Na- you're I did not a little nasal. Vix. Well, yeah, I did a little. <laughs> I did a little essential oil spray. I did some eucalyptus. <laughs> Good for you. Anyway, any pa- podcast platform you can uh, get us on, whether it be Google Play, iHeart, Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, wherever you listen to podcasts, and like I said, rates and review and just share us to the world because we want the world to love us well not we don't need you to love us but you know what i'm saying you you should like us somewhat if you have any questions uh email us at the adventurous podcast at gmail.com if you want your questions answered we will answer them the best way we can without me being sarcastic you're never sarcastic Brittany. (laughs) <laughs> okay <laughs> and that's it everybody we always enjoy your company and yeah just good. continue to lift each other up two hands at a time and you know that sometimes you do have to use your foot until next time we love you so much peace